That nigga yak fucked me up. I wonder how all them Zoles feel, dog. I know them Zoles fucked up right now. I know the state of Florida fucked up right now. This nigga ain't got no Mars, don't gain no principle. Damn. Thought that little nigga would like that, bro. That nigga ain't no street nigga. At all. Fuck me up. Nigga hurt me with that one. Fuck me up. Give how much money you get in the streets, bro. Cause that nigga Kodak stand up for the streets, bro, you know. A lot of street niggas look up to that nigga, bro. I blame the streets, bro. If the streets fuck with that nigga, music again, I blame the streets, bro. If Florida f that nigga, I blame the streets, bro. I was a Kodak fan, bro, you know. <laughs> that nigga f me up, man. You gotta blame the streets, bro. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Shows. Welcome back to another video. And Kodak Black recently did a music song. He did a, a I think there's a video out coming out pretty soon, too. But he did a song with 6 9 Now, Boosie, he ain't feeling that. I guess you can understand why. Boosie is, you know, heavy, you know, uh, he's a heavy street guy, basically. He represents... I guess the streets and you know he wants to keep that that tribe true to him and all the other rappers that's in the music industry so Kodak Black doing a song with 6ix9ine Boosie uh you know he didn't like it now whether or not he, uh, Boosie and 6ix9ine know one another I honestly don't know but my question is Boosie why do you care so much that you know Kodak Black did a song with 6ix9ine I mean like it's not like they doing crown together all they did was working with one another not to mention WAC 100 went on no jumper and he said that saying that Kodak Black got two million dollars from 6ix9ine to do that video uh is an understatement so basically if you were to listen to what WAC 100 said Kodak Black got paid more than two million dollars to do a song with 6ix9ine only a fool would not take that or, you know, maybe if, you know, that goes against, let me not say fool. If that goes against what you believe in, sure, maybe you're not a fool. Okay, you got that going on. But to say that somebody don't got no morals because they did a song with 6 9 that's crazy. Basically, somebody can say the same thing about you, Boosie. You don't got no morals because you used to do crime, because you still operate as if you're doing crime, not to mention you're going through, you know, a gun case with the the feds. What if somebody said that you didn't have no morals? Do I think you don't have no morals? No, but you know, I'm not about to sit here and say that 6 9 or Kodak Black doesn't have any morals because they did a song with one another. And here's the main thing. Okay, 6 9 he snitched on his gang. He told on all of his gang members. Most gang people, most people who do street things, they tell on one another. They tell on their gang. They tell on their, uh, they tell on their friends. You know, that's how, you know, the feds and police and law enforcement, that's how they solve, I think, a majority of their cases. You know, cooperating witnesses. Your son put up a post as well, uh, Tootie Raw, and I think he, he said something like, you know, to Kodak Black, and he had a middle finger up. Basically, it looked like he was flipping off, you know, Kodak Black. The thing about it is, you know, I go back to like what I said in the beginning of this video. Why do you care that much? Are you paying for Kodak Black's, you know, bills? Are you two best of friends? Do you talk to each other every single day? Really what Kodak Black got going on and what he does inside of his life. I'm like, we are fans. It really ain't nobody's business, though. And it kind of don't make no sense for you trying to be, be trying to tell people what they should be doing with their life. Yes, Kodak Black, he did a song with 6 9 Is it the end of the world? No. Did he get paid a lot of money for it? I'm sure he did. Was it Kodak Black's decision? Ultimately, yeah. But like I said, the main thing is, why do you care? And him doing a song with 6 9 does not mean that Kodak Black does not have any morals. I mean, like, Kodak Black got kids. Are you going to take care of uh, his kids, too? Are you going to be paying his kids, you know, bills and stuff like that? You're going to send money to his kids, baby mama and stuff like that. It just don't make no sense why you care that much and why you think the average person should care. 
The average person is not a street guy. The average person don't go out here doing crime, selling drugs, you know, robbing, killing, and stealing. That's not what the average person does with their life. The average person gets up every morning around around 7 o'clock and they head to their job, you know, in whatever town that they live in by 8 o'clock. They get off at 5 and they go get something to eat and they go back home and they do the cycle all over again. The average person does not go by, you know, street morals. And you can also say... That having street morals isn't really having street morals. You're just a criminal, basically. But nevertheless, get inside a couple of people. I don't know what you think about this. Your boy Shorts. I'll see you on the next one.